All right, Debbie, we find ourselves right back on the red carpet. What are we doing here tonight? We're at Michael's on East to celebrate the second annual Josh Provides Interactive Dinner. That's right, it's Tyler. And Debbie. And we are out. And about Sarasota. All right, what am I going to say next, Debbie? Let's go in and take a gander. Let's do it. Josh Provides, I'm here with the founder, Sandy Chapnick. How are you, Sandy? I'm fine, thank you. Welcome to the show. Now, this is your first time with me on the red yes, carpet. Yes, right? I'm so excited. My first time ever on a red carpet. And this is the second annual, right? Yes, right, yes. So tell our viewers that are watching a little bit about your organization. Okay, we were founded 11 years ago. My late husband and I established Josh Provides to help people like us whose children were struggling with epilepsy and we did this right after our son passed away he had a grand mal seizure in his uh, bathroom hit his ha had a fatal blow to his head and from what we were told he passed away instantly wow so he was 27 years old right? 28 28, 28. yeah about to be 29 so I'm going to share something with our viewers. I'm turning the table here. It's all about being real on my show. Yeah. I actually suffer from the uh, same situation. I have had seizures since I was 15 years old. They subsided until I was about 22 years old. And I had a few episodes during my late 20s. And um, I hid it from people because I was so ashamed and it was so embarrassing. And I really didn't understand what was going on because I hadn't had them since I was 15. So I never realized that that aura and that fixation feeling that I was getting had to do with it. So meanwhile, finding out that this was happening to me, I had a really bad accident and um, flipped a car on the Skyway. To make a long story short, I actually, uh, it was actually a good thing that actually happened because then I actually was able to be put on medication and since then have uh, not had the same situations happen that I had before. But it is an embarrassing thing that, that was going on, and I didn't really understand. Even though that I was going through it, I didn't really understand. So it's so much relief to me to know that not only do you have this organization, but you also have a, um, a support group. Yes. So let's talk a little bit about that. Yes, we have a monthly support group. It meets the first Tuesday of the month at the campus, the Lakewood Ranch campus of the State College of Florida. It's from 6.30 to 8 p.m. And families, loved ones, people with epilepsy are welcome to come. Great. All right, so if our viewers are watching right now, they want to get information, maybe they know someone that's having issues or they need to get some support. Uh, do you have a website? Yes, it's joshprovides.org. If you go to the middle of our main page, if you need assistance, click on there and you'll find our application. Well, thanks so much. It's so nice to be a part of something oh, well, that's so important, you. so I can't yeah. wait to actually be a part of the support groups yes, that you guys have. Yes, thanks again for coming. To. All right, stay right there. We've got so much more to come and you don't want to miss what's next. It's so important. We'll be right back after this message. Welcome to Chase and Galleries located in Southside Village where you'll find abstract, figurative, glass, fine art, sculpture, and authentic prints, and well-known artists like Picasso, Miro, Salvatore Dali, and so much more. Pablo Picasso said, everything you can imagine is real, and Chase and Gallery is a fine example. Check out the gallery at 1830 South Osprey Avenue, Suite 102. Co-chairs this evening. Start out with Anne here. I know and see her on a daily basis, and I know how passionate you are about this organization. Why don't you tell me a little bit about how you got involved and what we can expect here this evening? Absolutely. Uh, what we hope for this evening is to raise as much money as possible through our donors, our paddle raise, our silent auction. Now, last year I know you had an incredible silent auction. Are you expecting the same this year? Actually, we are expecting that, and we're expecting even more from the live auction. I forgot to mention that in my last briefing, but yes, we are expecting a ton from the live auction. We're going to have Michael Clabber as our auctioneer, so we're very excited about that. 
he just always brings it home. Now, Tracy, let me ask you, is this your second year as a board member? This is actually my fifth year. I've been involved for quite some time, and it's been amazing every step of the way. My excitement for the foundation has only increased, and I'm really happy to be here tonight. Now, doing a little research on the foundation, I saw that you guys do a lot here in the community. And one of the things that intrigued me was is you provide seizure dogs to um, patients that may need them. Can you tell me a little bit about that? We do, so applicants apply for assistance with the cost of a seizure response dog. Those dogs can be anywhere from $2,500 all the way up to over $10,000. Most people cannot afford that, and thankfully there's a foundation like Josh provides. Dan, how long have you been involved with the organization? So I'm one of the founding board members. Uh, a good friend of mine, Bruce Chapnick, when he decided to start the organization, asked if I would uh, be one of the founding board members, and of course I was honored and privileged to do so. So I've been about eight years now on the board, and uh, yeah, I've really enjoyed it. So you've really seen it grow in the last eight years. What is the, what do you think the biggest impact you've seen here in the community that Josh provides has done? Well, I think there's two. The first, obviously, is the fact that we provide much-needed services for families that are suffering from epilepsy and other seizure disorders. And I think the second thing is there's been a real increase in the awareness of the disease and what that means to families, and that's uh, equally as important uh, in our mind. All right, I'm here with my new friend, Nicole. How are you, Nicole? I am good. Hi, Tyler. So we have so much in common. We were talking a little bit about comparing our stories that we have, and you've been suffering as well. Your brother was Josh, right? Yes. So you also suffer from seizures as well. I do. So at what age did this start happening? This actually started, I would say, middle school, but it really came full-blown in high school when I was a freshman. And what I never realized until about a year ago is there's so many different types of seizures. You actually um, have a different type of seizure as well. I do. I, um, mine used to be visible. They were juvenile myoclonic jerks, and they said I would grow out of them, which I guess I did because now they're not visible, and I seize all the time, and you just can't see it. So, um, and there are 40 different types of seizures. So I would have never. There's a lot. It's actually really more common than cancer. So. Um, so is this something that always like I, the problems that I had? And I'm curious if you had the same problems. Is I was always trying to hide it because I was so embarrassed by it. Did you kind of feel? I I honestly I didn't. Maybe subconsciously I tried to hide it, but it really never. That wasn't something that I thought to do, whereas my brother, when, when they found out he was epileptic in high school, and then he went off to college, he was very protective of letting anybody know he had seizures. Yeah, I was curious if he actually was still, sometimes you stop taking your medication and think, oh, I could overcome this. Once you start, it's not the case. No, and he actually did that. He did stop sometimes, and then, so it's very important if you're on medication, you're watching this, keep taking your medication. Don't think you can go off of it without a doctor. That's something you cannot do. Well, thank you so much for telling your story. We're out there trying to help other people, and your story can inspire someone else's. Thanks so much, thank Nicole. Thank you. I'm here with two very special ladies this evening who have taken their spring break from Coastal Carolina to come down here to Sarasota and help Josh Provides organization. Kayla, why don't you tell us a little bit about why you decided to come down and help with the organization? I decided to come down here because when I was younger, I suffered from epilepsy myself, and I've also done Josh Provides walks when I were younger, so I definitely wanted to come here and experience what the foundation and everything is all about. So let me tell you a little about what these girls are doing. They are selling earrings. Can you show us a couple of the earrings? They're actually wearing them this evening and Kayla's sister actually made these earrings and they're selling them for we're selling them for the Josh Provides Foundation so all the proceeds are going towards it and how much are they they're $20, $20 yeah. so the entire $20 goes to Josh Provides and I think what I'm gonna do is first say thank you because it takes a lot for young women like this to take away from their spring break and actually dedicate it to an organization like this 
So thank you both, ladies. And if you wouldn't mind, I would like to buy a pair of the blue ones. Over the loss of our son. And as I mentioned, I am so very proud. And I, Josh was a chef. So having this kind of event is perfect. In my mind, he would be happy about that. But I'm just trying to imagine them sitting at a table with wine and um, a dinner set for two. So that's my image. People at every single table that's going to start cooking, OK? Some of the bigger tables need to Keepers that are salty. Move that around nicely. Gonna move that around a little bit, make sure it separates nicely. Make sure it doesn't stick to the pan. Oh my god. Look at that. Oh my god. And there is your ice cream rolled in chocolate. Okay, if you're if Wow, Debbie, what an incredible night tonight here at Josh Provides. It really was. I've never seen an interactive dinner done before, and this was a really great experience. I have never seen you eat that much before either. It was Or cook. <laughs> <laughs> cook is one thing. Eating is another. Wow. And to benefit such a great organization, I mean. You can't beat it. No, it doesn't get any better. And the three co-chairs that we interviewed before are such fabulous people. And the Chapnicks who founded the organization, you can't get any better than that. Absolutely. Well, that's going to bring the segment to an end. We want to thank you for watching, and we'll see you when we're out and about Sarasota. Out and about, Sarasota made possible by these fine sponsors. This has been an Out and About Media Production, product of Sarasota Socialite.